I love all the markings in my paper scriptures, and honestly, it took me some time to get used to using a digital scripture. But now that I have, I won't be turning back. I love how easy it is to mark, make notes, add tags, add things to notebooks, and create links to different scriptures. Today, I'll be covering how to mark things that you find interesting in the Gospel Library app and how to add notes to your markings. I will cover tags, notebooks, and links in future videos. And for you iPhone users, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where I show you an easy tip on how to scan text and add it to a note in your Gospel Library app. First, be sure that you're logged into the app so you don't lose any of your markings as you go through and mark your scriptures. Okay, I am here in Jacob chapter 7, verse 8, and I want to show you how to mark a scripture and how to add a note to it. I really like this part in verse 8 that says, The Lord God poured in his spirit into my soul. And so I'm going to hold down on the beginning of that, and then I'm going to come over and drag this little blue circle down to keep highlighting what it is that I want to mark. And so I've got that highlighted, and then I'm going to come up here and click on Mark. And you can see that it underlined it in blue. I want to change that style because I want it to be yellow and I want it to be highlighted. So I can just click on yellow and I can click on highlight. There are lots of colors to choose from and you can choose between underline and highlight. Um, there are also instances where you may want to remove the marking. We'll cover that in future videos when you would maybe want to do that. Okay, so now we have the scripture marked. I want to add a note to this scripture, so I'm going to click on what I've just highlighted, and this pops back up again, and I'm going to click Note. When I do that, it gives me the opportunity to type in a title. So I want my title to be Poured, poured Out His Spirit, and then I come down here, and I can type my little note that I want to add to it. I'm I know God has poured out his spirit unto me. As I keep my covenants, he will continue to do so. And so now I have a note in there. And down here below, you can see there are a few things that you can do with that note. You can select something and come down here and click on the B to make it bold. Or you can make it italics, underlined, all those. If you want to remove formatting, you can click that T with the cross through it. You can come down below here and add bullet points if you want or numbers these buttons here will indent it and move it back and you can slide over you can even adjust your justification you can add a link in addition you can come down here and maybe you have a, another note that you want to kind of keep separate from this note you've already made you can click on this box with the line through it and that will add a line. And the other really cool thing that you can do is you can add the date and time for when you created a note in there. And a cool tip for iPhone users, you can click somewhere and hold and it'll bring this up. If you scroll over and click on this little box with lines through it, what it will do is it will make it so that you can scan some text and it'll put it right in the app. So I'm gonna scan this little bookmark right here. I'm just holding my phone over it. And you can see, it can see that text and I click insert and there is that quote added really quickly into my note. But that's a really cool trick for iPhone users. They can just scan something with their phone and add it right into a note. So there you go. That's how you would add a note and make a marking in your Gospel Library app. Are you enjoying these videos? If you are, be sure to hit the like button below. It really helps YouTube know who else to share these videos with. And if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button below.